Questions for Kyrie? Back right on three. Um, Kyrie, uh, Davide Chinellato, Gazzetta Italy. Uh, here, down here. Uh, what is the thing you're most uh, disappointed about of this game one? Um, it's no time to be disappointed. I think that uh, just thinking about the next game, things that we can correct going forward. Um, they capitalized a lot on our mistakes um, and a lot of transition, easy baskets that uh, we can't allow going into game two. Um, so definitely a lot of things we can correct and get better at. Um, you know, watch film tomorrow and go from there. Back left here. Kyrie, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. When it comes to your defense, what do you feel like is most correctable from this game to the next one? Uh, well, it's a combination. Um, you know, a lot of our communication on our switches were pretty good tonight. Um, I just think that we got to limit a lot of their transition baskets as well as their uh, easy transition threes, as well as their offensive rebounding. Um, we do that, then we put ourselves in a better position. And then offensively, we just got to take care of the basketball. Um, you know, had a few two turnovers, uh, too many turnovers tonight. Um, you know, 20 in the finals, uh, definitely not going to get it done. Uh, so as a team and, and collectively, uh, we just have to take a honus and, and make a conscious effort to take care of the basketball and, um, you know, don't overthink out there. So. Eric in the back. Uh, Kyrie right here. Right, uh, Eric Pincus, Basketball Insiders, Bleacher Report. You just mentioned that you want to limit their transition. Obviously, not turning it over will help. But how do you deal with their speed uh, in transition? How do you stop them in transition? Uh, <clears throat> just taking quality bas uh, shots and uh, you know understanding that uh, we will be cross matched in transition. Um, you know, Clay's guarding me. Steph is on. Uh, on switch, so um, you know a lot of our actions on the defensive end, a lot of our communication. Um, you know, we're just going to have have to dig our feet in and be able to guard the basketball. Um, so it's more or less a hard thing, a, pri a prideful thing that um, going to game two uh, will be a, a lot more settled in, um, and you know a lot better uh, on the defensive end. And offensively, I mean, we still have to take good shots against this great team. So um, you know, we'll get better. Yes, Kyrie. Dave Lewis, NBC News Radio. So much was made about the layoff for both teams. Would you attribute to any of the the thoughts of rust being a factor in your play tonight as a team? Uh, well, there is no way you can sim uh, simulate uh, Warriors' offense. So when you come out here and no matter how greatly prepared you are, um, you know, going against them and being in the game is totally different. So um, you know, we're glad that we got Game One out of the way, um, and you know, we and. To have this type of game and have an effort that we put forth, um, you know, there's definitely some things that are correctable. So, uh, you know, just go forward, um, you know, continue to have a, a mindset that, um, you know, the goal at hand, which we want to accomplish, is going to be uh, definitely a tough one. So, um, game one of the series is done, and, uh, you know, now we move on to game two. Any other questions? Last one in the back, Dave. Kyrie, Dave McMenamin, ESPN. Late in the third quarter, I think at three minutes to go, it's a 12-point game. They go on a run to make it 22. Did it feel like a 12-point game, if that makes any sense? Like, did, did you feel like you were gaining? And, and again, I know turnovers contributed to that, but you know, did, did you feel a shift there, I guess? Uh, well, the shift came in the first uh, about two minutes and 30 seconds after halftime. Um, you know, that's something that we have to limit going forward, especially when it's an eight-point game. Um, you know we've uh, we've done a, a a good job of uh, you know limiting them to certain things going into halftime. Um, had a, a few too many mistakes, and then coming out of halftime they just jump on us. And great teams do that. So um, they came out. Katie hits a big three. Steph hits a big three, and then they go on a run. And um, you know it goes from eight to sixteen in a matter of literally a two minute span. So um, you know when you're playing against a dangerous team like like we are playing uh, in the Warriors and they have great pieces. Just got to stay disciplined, um, understand that every possession, um, you know, is all out, and, and we'll be fine. Thank you, Kyrie. Yep.